Welcome back, I'm Drone Tech, and you're probably wondering why you haven't seen anything about this story from the so-called mainstream media. I'm talking about CNN, MSNBC, CBS, ABC, NBC, PBS, NPR. I guarantee you that you've not heard anything from any of these sources. You know what, I'm sorry, they actually have reported on it, but as usual, they're being as deceitful and misleading as possible. So what we have here is a radicalized Democrat who no doubt had a healthy dose of CNN and MSNBC who took pipe bombs to a Republican rally with the intention of hurting innocent people. From the Post Millennial, a man in full black block behaving suspiciously near a right-wing rally outside the Pinellas County Courthouse in Florida on January 6 was apprehended by deputies after he tried fleeing on foot. Garrett James Smith, 22, was arrested and found carrying an active pipe bomb, Antifa propaganda, and a written document on what to bring for his direct action. I mean, this Antifa chud is essentially an MSNBC foot soldier, a radicalized CNN viewer who had targeted the people that those propaganda outlets call, quote, the greatest threat to democracy and the earth, a domestic terrorist group calling itself the Republican Party. Oh, that domestic terrorism is a, is a grave threat, but what can we do to stop it? What we need is to take the laws we already have and apply them to white people. The white people are committed to being villains in the aggregate, right? And that's the thing that white people don't trust us to do because they are so corrupt you know, their thinking is so morally and spiritually bankrupt. The thing I want to say to you is we got to take these motherfuckers out. But I know, but like, we can't say that, right? If we can go after international terrorists, why can't we do it at home? Today, we're mostly looking at our neighbors rather than a Osama bin Laden that's far off in Afghanistan. Bin Laden and co. didn't have supporters and sympathizers among the House Republican caucus. The Republican Party is basically a domestic terrorist cell at this point. And they should be treated as such. There are elements of the GOP that are starting to look like the jihadists. Al-Qaeda wasn't umbilically linked to the American conservative movement in the way that these domestic extremists clearly are. All right, folks, we're going to talk about the media's reaction or lack thereof. But first, let me tell you about the special coin offer for my viewers. Now, something's not adding up, is it? Stocks are at record highs, but the government just borrowed $5 trillion. Inflation is transitory, but it just went up to 6.8%. How much did your wages go up? Gas? Electricity? A precious metals IRA with Noble Gold will help you to avoid the worst of this. This month, Noble Gold is giving away a free 1 10th ounce solid gold American Eagle coin with any qualified plan you start. Start by calling 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. Just make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. A little more from this story, Smith was purported targeting dozens of the attendees of a rally protesting the treatment of January 6 suspects on the one year anniversary of the US Capitol riot. It's just so fitting that all we heard for the last couple months is that there was going to be a right wing terrorist attack on January 6. But what ended up happening? A left wing Antifa chud who was radicalized by the Democrat state media was the one to launch an attack. It doesn't take a psychic or a genius to see that the media's inflamed rhetoric is going to incite some nut job out there who's going to feel completely justified in taking action against these inhuman monsters that the media has said is a danger both to democracy and the earth. Now, of course, the most infuriating thing here isn't that the media is just ignoring this story largely in the mainstream. It's that the ones who are reporting on it are doing it very deceptively. The AP's headline here reads, quote, Florida man accused of bringing explosives to a rally supporting January 6th suspect. Most people reading this, knowing nothing about the story beforehand, are going to assume that it was a Republican nut job, when we know for a fact that this guy was a left wing Antifa. Besides having his Antifa action plan, he also had flags and riot gear with the Iron Front symbol right there on it. The arrest affidavit also lists Antifa and anti-government violent extremism as aggravating factors in this arrest. Ross' story had a similar headline as well as this humorous lie. Also in Smith's backpack, deputies found a helmet with an unspecified logo that had been seen at other protests in cities including Portland. I've solved it. I figured it out. Ten. Nine. Jesus. Eight. No, shut up. Don't say anything. Only works if I figure it out. Must be possible. Must be staring me in the face. Seven. 
An unspecified logo, they say, even though they admit right there that we've seen the symbol at other protests in Portland. They're being intentionally dense here to protect themselves and their foot soldiers. The Daily Beast is pushing a similar deceitful narrative, claiming that nobody could possibly know his political affiliations or his motivations, just like the Waukesha Christmas Parade Massacre, where the same people were completely baffled about this guy's motivations, despite those being very clear on his social media feed. Florida man arrested with explosive near Oath Keeper rally, police say. Your average person is going to read that headline, and all they're going to see is Florida man, explosive, and Oath Keeper. Noah Kirsch, the guy who made that headline, knew exactly what he was doing. A subsequent search of Smith's house turned up hand-style grenades and a pipe explosive, though his political affiliations were not immediately clear. Hey, you're absolutely right. The flags and riot gear emblazoned with communist symbols offer no evidence whatsoever. All right, folks, I can already feel my blood pressure rising, so I'm going to go ahead and end this here. But if you enjoyed this or found it informative, please share it, give me a like, and leave me a comment to let me know what you think.